So I'm continuing on with discoveries from my class in Barcelona. Uh, in the class, within the yin units, the feminine units, the female units, there was a gal who had been married for, uh, I think, around 15 years or at least with her man. And, and uh, um, a gal who was young and a student and uh, admitted that the man she was with was not the one she was going to stay with. And she felt kind of bad about that. But And another gal in her 30s who insisted that she wanted babies and... Uh, had all these reasons why she couldn't be in relationships. And at one point, I think it was Sunday morning, uh, the 30-year-old gal who uh, said she wanted a baby started telling me not only what men were like, but what relationships were like. And it was kind of an illusional, mythical conversation uh, that I don't know whether she made up or whether she read books, uh, which is a real common thing. Uh, you can often tell people who've read uh, the human potential books because they get all these rules and um, I think there's uh, one book out there, uh, Men Are From Mars and uh, one bit of uh, suggestion uh, is that the dude that wrote the book uh, Men Are From Mars says that if men want to be in a relationship with women they should uh, pretend to listen because women like to talk and uh, well I'll tell you, when I was in the third grade I was pretending to listen to my third grade teacher and uh, she knew right away. She knew absolutely right away that I was not listening to her and, and pointed it out. And I thought, how did she know that? But I remembered that, and so I don't pretend to listen to women. Uh, I don't think it's possible because you'll get distracted by a football game or a funny movie or something. But this gal was going on and on and on, and I, I made some comments about how different yin and yang were. She was trying to say that we were all the same and that there was this homogenous thing that was happening, that she could get in touch with her masculine half, and... Oh, there's a buzzing in the back around my computer. I hope that's not too bothersome. But uh, I told her that her theories were full of water and full of shit, basically. And she got a little upset, and I said, Okay, 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 let me just stop you for just a minute. I said, You're giving me theories on masculine energy, which is me, not you. And you're giving me theories on relationships, which I have one and you don't. I've been married for 20, a bunch of years. Right? And you're trying to tell me that you want a relationship with a man, which it's obvious you don't. I said, why is it so obviously t obvious to me that you don't want a relationship with a man? And she looked and she said, uh, because I don't have one. And I said, right, life is black and white to me. I look at it. If somebody doesn't have a relationship, it's pretty clear to me they don't want one. Yeah. And uh, she saw that. And then I said, look, if you want a relationship, you're going to have to look at things a little differently. You may have to even change your whole worldview on how you think things are. And she, fortunately, got laughing. We got laughing about it. And that's, that's a real ooh, blessing that over the years I've somehow seen how, seen how, seen how, to, how to allow people to have fun with different things. Because it used to get real serious around that point, and people used to get real mad, and it used to get real uncomfortable. But things are changing. www.micpeakperformance.com